Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. Oh, this is Psalm 23, the last two verses of So why should I fear the future? For your goodness and love pursue me all the days of my life. That is profound. Then afterward, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence to be forever with you. And it says, so why should I fear the future? He is pursuing us to the last breath to help us choose him. Imagine. I didn't even really realize when I was driving that that's what was going on. It just was going on. Well, you do it all the time. That's it one just, reason. It, well, it's pretty amazing. It just, it, it literally was so natural. Mm-hmm. But I realized that there was a choice that was being made that I wasn't really, I wasn't thinking about that. It just all of a sudden came up and I was like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, well that's, that is my choice. So he was leading me like a shepherd. Mm-hmm. In my Adding thoughts, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Here, make this choice. Oh, okay, that's the choice. And and it is little choices. It's little mm-hmm. choices that, that um, you know, there are the monumental choices, the, the big yes or whatever. But then there's tons of little pat, 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 pat to get us there. Mm-hmm. So um, To choose what he chooses. And it's so natural and it's so, so... Precious. It's it's mm-hmm. loving. I was about to say it's it's loving. It's his presence. So it's the third day of the new year. So it's a good time to talk about choices. Yeah, because we're going into twenty nineteen and, and this is you And know. and we were we were reading this book by E. W. Kenyon and Don Gossett, Words That Move Mountains. And really he's teaching us to speak words that are our choice of what to believe. Mm -hmm. Even believing is a choice. Yes, absolutely. Everything spiritual begins with a choice. Right. And it can grow to a want and a desire and a passion, but it has to begin with a choice. And so in these statements, we've decided to draw up our own proclamation, affirmation of what we believe, what is, what is true, and... About our individual lives, mm-hmm. about our individual circumstance, mm-hmm. not just like the the statement of faith. We're talking about individual. Uh, well, I, I'm, you know, about sickness, about, mm-hmm. uh, you know, wh- whatever. Wh- this is what the word says, and this is what I am mm-hmm. believing. And and he, it's so encouraging because this writer says that your affirmation spoken mm-hmm. uh, somehow produces the faith when you affirm your belief aloud it establishes that in you and for you and it's heaven and earth witnessing your choices right exactly and and heaven and earth supporting and god in his loving kindness knows there is honestly nothing else we can do we want to believe that i can do something, I can affect something, I can change something, I have power. Honestly, we want to believe we have a power. God knows uh, that we are frail children of dust and we're as feeble as we are frail. And we have one ability and that is to choose. That's, oh, John, praise the Lord. That's it. That is, that is it. Thank you. We can't do anything but choose. And if we don't choose, we've lost everything. It's not New Year's resolutions of what I'm going to do differently this year. No, no, no. It's nothing remotely connected to New Year's resolutions. It's this is what I will believe. This is what I choose. And he will do the changing. He will affect the changes. He will affect the disciplines it's the difference between choice and doing, and that's the division that's so difficult for us to make. We believe if I don't love God, but if I say I'm going to love God or I choose to love God, then I'm just a liar. No, 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 that's, it's a matter of the will. It's not a matter of truth or error. 
if I'm supposed to love God, I can choose to love God, and he will make that happen. He will make that come into being his own self. He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. You say, I choose to love the Lord with all my heart, soul, and mind. It doesn't matter if I don't feel love right now. It doesn't matter if circumstantially I'm, I'm not in a loving place. Uh, the word says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And I choose, choose, I choose to love the Lord with all my heart, soul, and mind. And one thing I've learned is the I will has a prophetic part to it. You don't just, you say it in the now, but God carries it out. God's the one who carries it out. So it's a prophetic word. I will love you, Lord, means he, I will let you. Do the loving through me. It becomes prophetic because he's he's given it as a command, and he doesn't do that to, you know, to leave us there. to leave us there. Right, then. It, there's a prophetic. There's a whole prophetic thing to speaking it out. It means okay, Lord, I have chosen this with you, and you are the power, not me. Mm -hmm. I'm the choice. He's not asking you to he's do or be something. He's simply asking you to choose. choose. And so then. you see. We are without excuse. Yes. That's brilliant, Joan. I never thought of that, that the, that the choice is actually a prophecy. Of course it is. That's it's an agreement with, with his word. Yes. yes. And then it's prophetic. And, it's and so it has to come. Yes. It has to be. <gasps> if you realize that all you have to do is agree with the word and speak it, and then he does it, that's, it's phenomenal. It's so easy. Yeah. That's, that's it, John. You just laid it out in the simplicity, the beautiful simplicity God gives it. We choose. We agree. He does the working out. He never asks us to do the work. That's the Cain in us that wants to produce something, that wants to bring a work of our hands. To earn it. To earn it. Mm -hmm. I want to have a part of it. Mm -hmm. Let me be part of it. God, I'll partner with you. I'm happy to partner with you. <laughs> but I need some credit here. <laughs> And he says, no, mm -hmm. no, you're not capable. And no one will share his no glory. No one will share his glory. And if you want to boast, boast in him. I don't think we understand, too, that su suppose you have something you need to give up, that you know you have to give up, and you can't give it up. But you can say, I choose to give it up. I choose to renounce it. I choose to be rid of it. I choose it to die. And that God picks that up. Heaven and earth are witness to your choices. And heaven and earth will support whichever way you choose. You're talking about a word, you know, like this book. You're talking about words that move the mountain. You, you are making that choice. You're going according to what he says, what the word says. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, this is, this is what you have set as a standard mm -hmm. for all of us to live by. This is your standard. And... I am agreeing with that standard, and I'm choosing that standard, and, and it must be done. Mm -hmm. It and must be done in my the, life. That is, if we could see on the other side, we would see the heavens shift according to our it's choices to, to obey God. And we would see <laughs> enormous angelic activity to support our choice. Hmm. What, what do the angels minister to us for? To support our choices for God. And you know, the word ifs is in so much, if you will do so and so. And the word if means that you have a choice and you must choose. If any man would follow me, he, he will lose all his possessions. If means you have a choice. Are you willing to lose everything for him? That choice has to be made. Are you and not his disciple? So it's so simple. You did say it simply, John. Yeah. I'm going to write it down when I listen to the tape. <laughs> I'm going to go write it down when I listen to the tape. Can I ask this as a question, Martha? Does my choice then release his creative power? Yes. Release his let. Yes. Because his let is creative, but it requires my choice. 
So is that when I make a choice, I release his creative power, not mine. I can do oh. nothing but my choice releases him to come in and do what I can't do. Exactly. He will create what we've chosen. And we don't have to. We're children. We're sheep. All we can do is choose. That's it. You're right, Jill. That's beautiful. Oh, glory. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.